Hi everyone, my name is Neptune Nayadis and I am a poet, writer, visual artist. I'm an animation student at University of the West Indies and today I'll be sharing some of my poetry with you all. The first poem I'll share is White Rabbit and this is a poem that covers a lot of concepts actually but I'll share a little bit more about what it means to me at the end. Thank you. I will take you on a journey down the rabbit hole, the deepest part of your soul far from the astute astronomical view you portray yourself to be. Welcome. Find the white rabbit. Intrinsically selfish, selfless, avant-garde, femme fatalistic, mystic mermaid dancing with the waves, you need to complete your extrication of your obsession with instant gratification. I'm a rad of sex addicted, snorting lines of hopes and dreams, dancing with demons and devils sewn into the seams of your mind, unorthodox love, clutching to the chest of someone you find yourself to be so afraid of. Why? There is no why. To you it's just do and do and do and dance till you finally realize that you're out of your trance that the embers have burnt their way through the redness of your skin and from there you find your descent. Ascending into a state that not even nostalgia can bandage your pain. So tell me, have you found your white rabbit? White rabbit basically just covers the different parts of us, the different ways we use to cope really and truly and I hope you find your own meaning from that too. The second poem I'll be reading is The Shadow Tree. I loved him when he was a desolate forest. Trees winter bare, sap dry, roots solid cold, as a blue-blooded animals taking shelter on his branches, watching closely for prey. And he would hide in the shadows while the village women would whisper his name, covering their children's ears, I'm sure if my mother had been alive, she would surely disapprove how at night I went to the shadow tree, poured my magic into its roots until he finally loved me. The third poem I'll be reading is The Human in the Attic. I am a pyromaniac, kleptomaniac, maniac, nymphomaniac, they call me. I like the feeling of heat scorching through my veins, the pain so visceral, so blood boiling. I'm sick enough to enjoy the twisted faces of people who have lost. I've lost. I'm finding that crushing the heads of men between my legs after a boring night of ecstasy, fulfills the beast crawling around inside of me. I'm finding that this world in my head must be kept in a trunk in the attic, never to be found again. Thank you. The third poem I'll be reading is untitled actually. But I think I'll give it a title now. Ophelia. Ophelia, I don't want to drown. I don't want my death to be painful. I wonder how you felt when your last breath exited your body, your nightgown cascading through the water spectacularly, skin glistening under the sunlight, over the water. The water lily is taking hold of your body till they found you the next morning. Lips blue, Ophelia, I think maybe. I want to die just like you. The last poem I'll be reading is Matrona by the River. That poem is actually a poem that's very dear to me. It's about someone very important in my life. It's her life. And I, in my great antiquity, I come to you, 
I am bloody bruised, chipped, bare-breasted, arms in chest to shield me from my cold. I have tried to find love everywhere. Aphrodite, River Mama have not answered my calls and the men who have perceived me torn apart my walls and my womanhood to be theirs. And even a god would not love me. And my only child was taken from a rounded stomach, blood spurting, love bleeding from between my legs. She never breathed, nor opened her eyes. My last choice of love is to lay in the heat of the tropics, pull my legs to my chest, and count my heartbeats. One, two. Thank you very much, and I really do hope you enjoyed my poetry. Stay safe during this season.